it is Notre Dame and Boston College. And the final time in South Bend this season, here come the Irish. They keep in the field of play. It's going to be for BC. Lawrence Key is back deep to receive, and what we go here from South Bend. It's towards the sideline, but Keys has it from the three as the seniors throw their marshmallows. A senior day tradition. This drive for the Irish will start from the 21, and Book looking to keep the hot hand with the pass again. On senior day, Chris Fink came to 22 out of bounds, right around the 43 yard line. Irish on the move, second and eight. Pressure picked up for the moment. Book escapes. That was the first down and more. Ian Book shot the 30, gain of about a dozen in a first down. Three of four on kicks over 40 yards. It's going to be 47 with a little bit of wind that is blowing, helping him. John Shannon, a senior, snapped it. The punter, Jay Bramlett, held it. And Gore comfortably knocks it through from 47. First drive, first points in Notre Dame. For the Irish this year, it certainly has been by committee, and Flemister's improved to this pass pro. That's why he's getting more of a shot. Did a good job there to keep this play alive. Terrific scramble and grab at the 47, a gain of 26. And Book pressured, flushed, on the move, taking off. Ian Book puts that shoulder down to get the first down at the 13-yard line. The quarter begins, the Irish are eight yards for a first down, 11 for a touchdown. 83 and 84 on the same side of the field. Claypool and Komet, pressure comes, Book gets rid of it, Claypool dropped it. Might have been a touchdown for Chase Claypool, he just couldn't pull it in, the field goal unit's coming off. Good from 47 earlier, has this one from 29, and the Irish lead 6-0 as 10 of 12 on the season. So we'll check on Kareem, meantime, the Eagles on the move from the 40, Grossell takes the deep shot downfield for White, who breaks it in! Boston College touchdown, Kobe White, a 40-yarder sensational drive, and the Eagles, an extra point from the lead. Watch the pass protection up front. Great job up front. This is the strength of this Boston College offense is the offensive line. A beautiful, beautiful throw by Grossell. Little out and up inside. I'll tell you, this ball is perfectly thrown. And talking to Steve Vidazio yesterday at their walkthrough, he said, we're going to take some shots and go for the big plays down the field. And they hit on this one. Let's see. Is he down before the goal line? Here's the catch. Here's the knee. Is there enough there to say he is short of the goal line? As the replay takes a look at it, we'll open up Terry McCauley and see what he thinks. Yeah, Mike, it appears that he's short from that angle. We really would rather have a down the line angle to be sure. Uh, I, at this point, I just don't think there's enough to overturn at this point. It's not indisputable. The ball doesn't break the plane before the knee, uh, before the knee comes down. Right, on those long shots, that camera that's usually right down the goal line is a little bit farther back. So you don't get that direct down the line look on that play. And then you say, as you said, you got to have indisputable video evidence. It feels like he's just shy of the goal line. But and you can't reverse on it, feels like. Exactly. After further review, the receiver was down with the ball at the one yard line. It will be placed at that spot, first and I goal. Yes, you can. The clock is correct <laughs> and will start on my signal. 24 trips inside the 20, 23 times the opponent has scored. Dylan. Thomas. Dylan. Airborne. Let's see if he's short. They say he came down short of the goal line. Drew White. The middle linebacker with the hit. Fake it. Grossell going to run it and walk it in for the touchdown. Terrific play call. Dennis Grossell gets the one yard touchdown run. Wusu Karamoa has contained. He comes in. Everyone's selling out to stop the run, but he's not the only one. 
Both tight ends totally uncovered. Quarterback naked bootleg walks in the end zone. And you have a couple of plays after the reversal of the touchdown. It becomes a 16 play, nearly seven minute drive. Grossell through the 39 yarder. He runs it in. Aaron Bumeri, who kicked here when he was a kicker for Temple a few seasons ago. He's down here at the bottom, and there's a safety over the top, his side, all the time. Coming corner blitz. Claypool working across the field. They react to him. He spins through, uses that physicality to get the first down at the 32 yard line. Be hard to describe in about two seconds. You're right. Third and three. <laughs> Books keeping off the hands of Komet and Notre Dame. Could not convert there. Interesting to see. They go for the field goal here or try to get the first down on fourth and three. But protected, throws complete, and Chris Fink gets the first down at the 17 yard line in front of Isaiah McDuffie. Claypool gets a break. Book throwing to the middle, and the tight end's open there. Come back to the five yard line. First and goal, Notre Dame. I first and goal from the six. Book, Claypool, touchdown, Notre Dame! <laughs> Carry on. So many, so many fade routes lately to Claypool on the outside, so you want to win, you're afraid of the, the fade route, he runs the slant. Boom, foot in the grass, see ya. Fans did because of the national scope of the Irish program. Third and nine. This is not a down. BC succeeds on often. Grossell trying to do it with his feet. Says, take that good run, Grossell. Near midfield and a first down. I would I would like pressure, but they're bailing out. Four man rush. From the 42, here is Book in the pocket. Everything covered. He scrambles and launches downfield towards Kamek, who's bunnied in the flat. It'll take the ball. Not all the way down there, but at least in field goal range with six seconds left. And we'll see what Brian Kelly decides to do if, in fact, this is pass interference on the Eagles. Pass interference. Number eight, defense, 15 yard penalty, and an automatic first down. To lead the 25, field goal attempt to be 43. Six seconds remaining. And Doors kick. Pressure coming. Book escaping. Getting the edge block from Claypool and getting a first down. Full fledged knucklehead from the 46. Second and 10. <laughs> Book escapes, resets, looking downfield. Everybody's covered, so he scrambles and gains six. And that has been a lot of what Ian Book has done today. Five in the pattern. Incomplete for Brayden Lindsay. Hasn't been thrown to yet today. The sophomore. Well, the 70 yard touchdown reception last week. Jay Bramlett, the holder. This one off the right hash, and this one as well. Right through. What a game for Jonathan Doyle. Both have been held relatively in check. Grossell pulls it down, lost the football on the twist, and it's recovered by Drew White of the Irish. He was spun around, got tagged. Colin Kareem injured earlier. Was right in the middle of that spot where the hit happened. And on the turnover, the Irish have it in great field position. Well, Grossell, in the footage we've seen, runs tough. He wants to put his head down. He wants to be a tough runner, get every yard. Look at Kareem. Gets into the mix. Kareem grabs it, rips it, pulls at it, it's out. The first turnover of the day. Making those turnovers count. Pressure is picked up. Book looking for a place to escape. He will. The move at the 20, he'll lean forward, trying to get to the 17 yard line. He's a yard shy, but Elijah Jones tackles a yard shy of that first down. Over the top, connect, touchdown. So much attention to being paid to Claypool and the outside receivers so the safeties get wide. A little play action step up and right down the middle of the command. Sixth yep. touchdown of the year. Claypool on the outside has a corner arm with the safety over the top. They do not want him to beat you. 
You end up one on one with a tight end off the play action fake impossible to cover. Uh, that's his game. On first down, a little reverse action times two. He's hitting his full speed, so he's got a stride working. And he just hits that gap off the heel, step out of it, and go. Now watch Sebastian close, which shocked both of us because we know what kind of speed Lindsay has. Lindsay is special, and he brings another dy you know, dynamic part of this offense to where you give him the ball on the edge, yes. forget about it. And uh, I got to say something about Sebastian, too. He has been very impressive today. Mm -hmm. One of the stars of this defense, but Lindsay uh, is, just brings another game-breaking aspect to this offense. Nice backpedal, Sims, hey, by like the way. Good <laughs> yeah, thing I wore my LeBrons today. <laughs> Third and 16, and Grossell throws in the middle. It's intercepted for the fourth time this year. Carl Hamilton took one all the way to the opener. This one is brought down inside the 15 by the quarterback, Grossell. Touchdown number one for Keys. Book reloads, escapes, flips. the ball's out in two and a half seconds. He just hangs on, moves around until someone's open, almost six seconds, makes it look easy. Chris Fink on senior day getting a touchdown. It'll be a tough set of circumstances for the Irish to end up in a New Year's Six game. Joe Kovic inside the five and down at the three. Fourth and goal, Jerkovic's going to keep it, and it'll be brought down. T.J. Ram, the junior, makes the stop, and B.C. will take over on downs with 4.33 to go. Doug, the Irish, the third longest home win streak now, 18 consecutive home victories. Back-to-back -back Notre Dame undefeated seasons here in South Bend. They dominate B.C. to win 40-7 to on senior day.